what's good with y'all man so guys listen up man listen up never allow a woman to do this to you all right this is across the board whenever you have any kind of encounter any situation with a woman you never allow her to do this to you because it's going to affect how you are seen from that point forward we always talk about how important first impressions are guys so we gonna cover this mess make sure you stick around for the whole video guys with that said y'all before we hop into this man make sure y'all follow me on ig check the link in the description box turn on notifications man like comment subscribe all that good stuff bro let's hop into this guys all right man so never allow a woman to do this to you all right now first impressions like i just said are everything especially for women guys for women guys a lot of times she's going to either categorize you as a beta or the guy that she actually wants and desires, a.k.a. alpha. Maybe you have a Sigma game. Doesn't matter what it is, but you're either going to be put in a category of I can smash. I cannot. I could use him for my own benefit or I could use it for my benefit and he clapping these cheeks because I want him to right i'm pretty sure you guys want the latter and not the former i'm assuming that guys so so never allow this to happen and i got a situation i'm gonna bring up later but never allow a woman to categorize you as the same as these other dudes around her all right guys the whole point of this kind of content guys is to make sure that you differentiate yourself from other guys from the crowd from the average joe from the regular person if you did not have a desire to do so, why are you even watching this kind of content? You know, being red pill aware is important because you understand what it takes to separate yourself from the crowd. Now you have the tools and you know what it takes to be different from these other guys. You are a rare person. Now you're a rare person. Start acting like it, bro. On these first impressions with females, it's unfortunate that they're so superficial for the most part to where a first impression, you know, kind of sticks with them. But hey, that's how it is. A lot of times it's going to be hard for you to recover from a first impression. You know what I'm saying? Even if you are this kind of guy. But that's what I'm saying, guys. Make sure that you carry yourself the way that you would like to be seen. And what I would hate to see, guys, is the fact that you put in so much work on yourself for a chick to come out and see you as beta right anything less than what you deserve that's what i cannot stand to hear from guys i cannot stand to you know be in a conversation with a guy and you know i see that he's putting in work him and me talking our conversation will be great and by the way i do not expose information like that keep it strictly professional unless you want me to drop a video on the kind of content but i'll be talking with the guy and it's all gucci right he sounds confident he sounds put together he can hold frame hold a sentence together right but talking to the girls, a whole different situation. The nerves kick in and all this other stuff. Now that she sees this lack of confidence, now that she sees this nervousness, what is going on in her head? Well, I don't know. He's, he's pretty nervous. He's kind of shy. That's kind of weak. That's kind of weak. Maybe I can use this guy to my advantage or, you know, just the fact that she's turned off by that. She needs some kind of excitement, some kind of aggression from a man. You know what I'm saying? Some kind of dominance energy. And she's not getting that from you. She's used to having that from the guys that she lets clap her. She's not feeling that from you, even though you are capable. She's going to categorize you as a beta. She's going to categorize you. Might not even just be a beta. Just going to be unattractive, like unappealing to her. You will fall in line with the other invisible guys. You do not want to be just like the rest of the guys when you aren't. So why is she putting you in that category, bro? You never allow a chick to do that. Now, one particular time I had a chick assume, right? And this is how, this is how I'm going to put it, right? The situation unfolded like this. I'm having a good time, right? One of the girls I know comes up to me and, you know, she has a crush on me, but I don't really, yeah, she's not really my type. She's still an attractive woman, but, you know, I like to keep certain girls in the friend zone to use that for my advantage. And this is one of them situations where it would have worked out, but this is what ended up happening. She comes up to me. And she's like, oh, yeah, hey, my friend thinks you're super cute. Please go and talk to her. She wants you to talk to her. I'm like, who is your friend? And she points at her. Her friend was looking at that time. I'm looking up her up and down. You know, I'm sizing her up. I'm like, okay, you know, booty on point. She got, you know, I, I'm not much of a boob guy, but she had some nice. I'm like, okay, bet. And she Hispanic. Let go. I'm like, let's get it. You know, so I go down there, start talking to her and stuff. Energy was good and everything. 
you know what I'm saying? Song comes on. I'm like, okay, bet. You know, my guys, my thing is, I want you to throw that booty on me. Anytime a chick is not trying to throw some booty on me, I take that as a sign of disrespect. Especially if you're coming out the gate telling me, okay, you're attractive. Please come and talk to me. I'm I'm thinking that that's an easy layup, right? And even if it's not regardless, I can break down, you know, any guard. I'm, I'm, I'm cool on that stuff, right? So I proceed to grab her hand smoothly, to start turning her around. We dance for like two seconds. She turns around and goes, oh, I can't, I can't do this because, you know, I've been rejecting other guys. I didn't let any other guys dance with me. Any other, every other guy that approached me, I just turned him down. And I'm sitting here listening to her. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. So, so what does that have to do with me? Like, what does that have to do with me? And she's like, wait, what do you mean? I said, well, you turned down all these other guys for a reason. Am I, am I, am I correct in saying that? And she was like, yeah, because I just wasn't. So, so what you think about me? Yeah, I'm feeling you, but it's just, I don't want to look shady because I said, listen, but you with me, I don't, I don't care. Like, like you can't put that standard of other guys on me because I'm different. Now, when I came at her like that, all of a sudden, damn, you right. Well, let me proceed to throw my ass on you. Exactly. Exactly. Never let a woman get away with categorizing you as the same as these other guys. And I don't care how many guys you told no. I don't care how many guys you rejected. I don't care if these guys going to sit here and stare. And I guarantee you they were sitting there staring and being all salty because that's what dudes do. Right. That's what they do. They see you with a chick that they wanted to dance with and had a booty toss on his Johnson. Well, she doing that to me. And if you a real man, you'd be like, you'd be proud of the brother, right? You'd be proud of him. All right, and he got it. That's what's up. Not sitting there hating, right? That's a separate video for another occasion. But, hey, bro, don't let a woman categorize you as the same as these other dudes. Guys, if you put in the work, right? We've been on this journey for a long time, fellas, and we still going. We still going to the death of us. And guess what? It's not going to stop. The tests aren't going to stop, Right? Her trying you uh, with, with some kind of disrespect where you need to check her ain't going to stop. First impressions are always going to be first impressions with new females, right? It just is what it is. That's the flow of what we got to deal with, man. So it's a continuing process. You feel me? Never let her downplay your worth by sitting here telling you, oh, well, since I did this for the other guys or to the other guys, I'm going to do the same to you. No, we are not the same. We are not the same. Matter of fact, even the me allowing you to throw that ass on my meat is a benefit to you. That's, that's, that's pleasurable to you, right? I am blessing you with the opportunity to throw that ass on my dick. You should be honored. That's exactly how I like honestly, that's how exactly how I carry myself. And once and, and it's not about being cocky or see, it, it's about the energy that you communicate, right? Because I was cooling, I, I wasn't pressing all up on the issue and stuff. But when you come to me and you try to compare me with other dudes, and this is what I'm telling you guys, when she comes to you, compares you with other guys and stuff, no, 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 no. I don't we ain't talking about Bob, Billy, Joe. I don't care who that is. You talking to me right now. Everybody else is irrelevant. That's how it needs to be, fellas. That's how it needs to be. That's how you got to carry yourself. And that's how you move with a supreme confidence. That's how you move with supreme confidence. Efficiency. Be a man, right? Say what you mean and mean what you say. That's been the narrative for, for a long time, right? It's been a narrative from the beginning. When you really start to grab your nuts, you got to stand up for who you are and you don't accept nothing less than your value. So never let that other chick or that chick over there or that chick from the past to sit here and tell you about yourself, how much you're worth. You can't let them do that, right? Be the exception, bro. Be the exception.